implied agency. Implied agency arises when the principal conducts himself towards the person alleged to be the agent or the third parties in such a manner as if principal had conceded to the appointment of that person as agent. It includes agency by estoppel. Agency by estoppel arises when a person holds himself out as an agent. Though in fact he is not so, or even after he ceased to be an agent. When an agent has, without authority, done acts or incurred obligations to third party on behalf of his principal, inducing to believe that such acts and obligations were within the scope of the agent's authority, the principal cannot deny the agency and is bound by such acts or obligations of the agent. Agency by holding out. Agency by holding out is a kind of agency by stopping. This is, in this case, a prior positive or affirmative act on the part of the principal establishes the relationship of agency subsequently. Agency by necessity. In certain cir urgent circumstances, the law confirms an authority on a person to act as an agent for the benefit of another, there being no opportunity of communicating to the other. Such agency is called an agency of necessity. It arises in following cases. Agent exceeding his authority in an emergency. When an agent exceeds his authority in an emergency, an agency of necessity arises provided the agent was not able to communicate with the principal had taken all reasonable steps to protect the interests of the principal and had acted bona fide. In such a case, the principal is liable for the acts of the agent. For example, in case of emergency during voyage, the master of a ship may borrow on the ship owner's credit, hypothecate the ship, cargo and freight or sell whole or a part of the cargo. Husband and wife. If the husband does not make adequate provision for maintenance of his wife, the wife is entitled to pledge his credit for necessaries, goods and services normally required in couples joint style of living. If the husband and wife lives together, the husband may escape liability if he can prove that he has expressly forbidden his wife to place his credit or the goods purchased are not necessary or he has allowed sufficient funds for purchasing the articles she needed to the knowledge of the tradesman or the tradesman has been expressly told not to give credit to the wife where the wife has been deserted by the husband by husband unless the wife lives separately on her own will and without justification, the wife has authority to pledge her husband's credit for necessaries. Agency by ratification. Sometimes a person may act on behalf of another without his knowledge, consent or authority and the principal may ratify the agent's act as authorized. 